Hello and welcome friends. In this ongoing lecture, we are going to understand how to identify the lambda max of dimes. Okay, so these are the values for dimes. We know that dime is of two types. First one is the cyclic, second one is the acyclic. Acyclic beta dime, we know value is plus 217 nanometer. It is mostly in the transoid conformation. Okay, it also looks like this. The cyclic is of two types homoannular and heteroannular. Homo means same. Hetero means different. So for heteroannular, the value is 215 nanometer. It looks like this. For homoannular, value is 253 nanometer. It looks like this. Means both the double bonds are in the same way. Increment means the contribution. We know that there is double bond extending conjugation having value plus 30 nanometer. We have already seen how to find out or identify double bond extending conjugation. Then there is exocyclic double bond having value plus 5 nanometer. A ring residue or alkyl substituent both will have, have value of 5 nanometer. If instead of alkyl, if different polar groups are substituent on your system, then they have their respective values. Okay, please note it down. So, here Let's understand different representations of dynes, that is different representations of homoannular dynes, different representations of heteroannular dynes, different representations of your acyclic beta dynes. Okay. So first is the homoannular dyne. We all know value is plus 253 nanometer. Homo means same. Two bonds which are in conjugation are present in the same ring. It is called homoannular dyne. Now here look these two bonds which are in conjugation but they are present in the same ring so it is called as a homoannular dime. Sometimes they give like this. Now here just look at two bonds. These two double bonds are separated by single bond so they are in conjugation and lies in the same ring. So it is also a homoannular dime. This is also a homoannular dime. This is also a homoannular dime as it is present in the single ring double bond, single bond, double bond and in the same ring. So this will be an example of home another time. Here is also double bond, single bond, double bond. So this one is also an example of homo annular dime. Okay. Now let's take some example of hetero annular dime. Value is 215 nanometer. Okay. Hetero means different. We know that the dime which are in conjugation but if they are placed in the different ring the system is called as a heteroannular system. So here is double bond, single bond, double bond. Means the bonds are in conjugation but present in the different ring. So this will be an heteroannular dime. Here is also double bond, single bond, double bond. So this is a heteroannular dime. Double bond, single bond, double bond. This will be an heteroannular dime. Okay. Don't be confused here. It is very simple. Double bond, single bond, double bond, and they are in two different rings, so it is a heteroannular system. Double bond, single bond, double bond are in conjugation and in different rings, so it is a heteroannular system. Double bond, single bond, double bond. So this one is also an example of heteroannular system. Now let's take acyclic beta time. Value is 217 nanometer. It is mostly exist and transform as it is more stable in the transform okay so if such question is asked this is considered as acyclic butadiene because both the bonds are outside the ring this is just a substitution so in such cases value will be 217 nanometer for the pair now we are going to discuss very important points regarding dimes. So please listen carefully. Our first point is in some questions or in some structures, they will give you both homo and heteroannular dime combination. In such cases, please consider 
homo annular dime as your pi that means your base value will be 253 nanometer and that extra double bond of hetero annular will be taken as double bond extended conjugation okay so we know that double bond single bond double bond is a dime which are in conjugation if they are placed in the different ring it is called as the hetero annular dime if they are placed in the same ring they are called as a homo annular dime but hetero and homo when both are placed in the same ring it looks like this this is a homo annular dime and this is an hetero annular dime this is an hetero annular dime but this is homo annular dime okay this is homo annular dime this is homo annular dime this is homo annular dime but this one is hetero annular dime here this one is hetero annular dime here double bond single bond double bond this one is hetero annular dime so in such cases please consider your parent value as plus 253 nanometer means this will be your parent and this double bond is in conjugation with this so it is considered as double bond extending conjugation value is plus 30 nanometer correct so next point is so second important point is this is a conjugated dime because two double bonds are alternative to each other but remember here one double bond is present outside the ring and one double bond is present inside the ring so question is should we consider it as a hetero annular dime or a cyclic beta dime okay so it is not a hetero annular dime in such cases please consider it as a a cyclic beta dime so the base value will be plus 217 nanometer now the next point is in this particular structure there are two double bond separated by a single bond so this is a conjugated dime system as we know but here these two double bonds are outside the ring so in such cases please don't consider it as a homo annular dime consider it as a acyclic beta dime and take the parent value as 217 nanometer which is a value of acyclic beta dime now we are going to discuss the anion system okay this is a carbonyl carbon this is a alpha beta double bond so this is also called as alpha beta unsaturated system okay when this particular group is a r group we know this is a c double bond o and this is a r dash it is called as a ketone or alpha beta unsaturated ketone okay so if it is a ketone then ketone may be alpha beta unsaturated ketone may be acyclic or either it may be cyclic in the cyclic it may be five membered or six membered as we know for acyclic value is 215 nanometer for five membered cyclic alpha beta unsaturated ketone value is plus 202 nanometer for six membered it is 215 nanometer but if this is your carbonyl carbon this is your alpha carbon this is your beta carbon this is double bond if this r group is replaced by eh this particular part it is called as aldehyde c double bond oh so this system is called as alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde value for it is 210 nanometer okay if this r is replaced by oh then it will look like c double bond o oh that means acid so value for alpha beta unsaturated acid will be equal to plus 195 nanometer likewise value for ester is also 195 nanometer okay these are some basic values 
for parent alpha beta unsaturated system now we know that double bond extended conjugation will have value of plus 30 nanometer in both diene and anion system okay exocyclic double bond will have plus 5 nanometer both in diene and anion system we have seen how to identify and find out the alkyl substituent and ring residues in both the systems so in the anion system for alpha value is 10 nanometer for beta it is 12 nanometer for gamma and above means gamma delta and above value is 18 nanometer but remember an important point in the anion system here is they have mentioned value for homo annular diene component and its value is plus 39 nanometer they have not given any value for hetero annular component so there is no increment for hetero annular component it is zero nanometer correct so what is mean by this homo annular diene component as we know this we have studied how to identify double bond extended conjugation exocyclic double bond alkyl substituent and residues okay we know what is the parent what is the value of parent but what is mean by an homo annular diene component let us have a look our aim is not here to identify double bond extended conjugation exocyclic double bond and other things our aim is to understand what is in by an homo annular diene component in the anion system and how to identify them so first mark your parent identify the double bond extended conjugation then identify the exocyclic double bond then mark your ring residues and alkyl substituent and then check in your system if two double bonds are present in a same ring that will be considered as homo annular diene component so in this structure this two double bond which is not a part of your parent okay but they are present in the same ring so it will be considered as homo annular diene component so value for homo annular diene component is 30 nanometer 39 so 1 into 39 total contribution will be equal to 39 nanometer in the next example this is your parent there are two double bonds this double bond is in conjugation with this but this double bond is not in conjugation okay so then identify the exocyclic double bond what are the other things okay now just check is any homo and lidine. so these two double bonds are lies in the same ring so this is an example of homo and lidine component and value is 39 nanometer so total contribution will be equal to 39 nanometer in case of anions, when you are going to find out the ring residues and alkyl substituent, mark your parent first. This is your parent. Then identify and mark extra double bonds. Check whether they, these double bonds are in conjugation with your parent or not. Now, this first double bond is in conjugation with my parent, but this double bond is not in conjugation because it is separated by two double, two single bonds. Now the double bond which is in conjugation mark up to that particular point then check and consider whole as your parent then check for the residues this is directly attached this is directly attached this is directly attached this is directly attached but don't consider this already we have seen this point but it is a very important point please remember it sometimes and some tricky questions they will give you questions like this okay so in this this is your parent in this case this is also your parent okay you will take a value of your parent that is 215 nanometer here also 215 nanometer but cyclic ketone so value is 215 nanometer then you will identify an extra double bond so here one extra double bond here one extra double bond here this is in conjugation this is in conjugation so again you will add 30 nanometer for double bond extended conjugation here also here also then you will check for ring residues ring residues this is alpha carbon this is beta carbon this is gamma this is delta this is alpha carbon this is beta this is gamma this is delta okay so this is directly attached to your ring parent this is directly attached this is directly attached 
this is directly attached this is directly attached this is directly attached so at alpha there is one at beta there is one at gamma or above there is one at alpha one beta there is one gamma and above is one so value for alpha is 10 nanometer 1 into 12 is 12 1 into 18 is 18 nanometer 1 into 10 is 10 12 is 12 1 into 18 is 18 nanometer okay everything is same in these both structures look at the difference here two double bonds are present in the same ring we will take a value of plus 39 nanometer here okay in this case this double bond and this double bond lies in the different ring so should we take plus 39 nanometer in this example or not so chemically both these structures are same because this double bond is shared by both the ring so in such cases consider both the example in both the example consider there is a homo annular dying component is present so you will add plus 39 nanometer here also and here also okay so this double bond and this double bond is just a different representation okay but when you will find out the lambda max please consider in both structure there is a presence of homo annular dying component so you will add plus 39 nanometer in both the example okay sometimes they have given some tricky questions now here this is your carbonyl carbon single bond alpha beta double bond so this is your first parent this is again double bond carbonyl carbon single bond double bond this is also your parent so you will consider it as second parent okay now out of these two you have to select only one as a parent so in such cases just identify the ring residue here this is directly attached to the parent this is directly attached to the parent so the ring residues are two which are at beta position so 2 into 12 value is or total contribution will be equal to 24 nanometer but in this case there is only one attachment to the parent so at beta position 1 into 12 will be equal to 12 nanometer so here it is less substituted and here it is more substituted so you will take or you will consider more substituted as your parent so this will be your parent okay